end of another day but driveway's clear yes that only means one thing you guessed it we're probably nearly there you ready Starting here, it is completed. So it does look weird. Blocks. But the plan for down here is we're going to extend this. I've got a load of old ballast from a previous project. Fill that with concrete air source heat pumps gonna sit here there's all me wires and stuff probably just gonna get some concrete not even concrete the uh, type 1 stuff and just to fill that and level that just to make it safe and then this area got some sheet in which I'm gonna put on the back of the fence is gonna be used for me grass clippings it's of old garden waste but I don't want it on the back of the building and I don't want it touching the fence hence putting a bit of a sheet down so that's what the back looks like and probably put some kind of oh god gate or something in between here and here just to keep that separate because as you know then this is going to be this is with the access up and then the rest of this will be planted with some nice stuff not weeds weeds and more weeds and then I can continue my sleeper wall along here we can finish up here somewhere and as I say make this a bit of a I don't know how or what I'm gonna do but just to make that accessible so welcome to the garage with Lee Bailey artwork Awesome. Huge. So yeah, we've been toying with potentially slight change in here of how we work stuff. The drum definitely there, because obviously that's the drain, so that'll go straight into the drum, but potentially talking about having the bio chamber a bit further out. And that means I can go that way to the heat pump and then a bit of pipe round up into the shower here. <clears throat> Still gives me plenty of space to get round stuff if I want to, and plenty of space to store stuff. Stuff? I don't know. Store stuff. Why not? This hole will... Oh, you did see that. That hole will always be there. But it's going to be clad at some point the other side. I'm not sure what with... Maybe a composite kind of clad in, or I'm thinking some kind of nice wood of some kind. I don't know what type, I'm not a woody person, but a nice a nice wood clad in all the way across. We've already talked about what we're going to do with this space. We're going to get a huge plant pot with a, uh, a nice statement plant of some kind. A tree, a summer bee, probably not a cloud tree because I'm not made of money, I'm skint now. So the top layer of the pond is now on. And that awesome skimmer, my best mate that lived there, is now in skimmer heaven. Uh, that's being filled tomorrow. And this is how you should do a skimmer. Look at the size of that. 
Obviously that will sit up there somewhere. With that. Yeah, so when I clad over the wall here, obviously that hole will disappear. But it still gives me access if I want from the other side to lift the lid of the skin. But even though there'd be no need because it'll just go straight to the drum, doesn't it? So yeah, I'm just packing away and tidying up now. I'm just giving it all the sweep out in here. Um, Lee's got to bodge me roof tomorrow. We reposition that post as best we could. He's going to fix that saggy beam. He's going to strengthen it all. Then we can remove these two support struts from that bit of 6 2 up there. Then he's going to fill the gap. Then he's going to sell a text pond. And then the big day. So tomorrow's Thursday, so that will be Thursday job. Then Friday, it's going to look completely different. Fiberglass and windows will be in. Um, I'm not helping Friday. I'm not helping tomorrow or Friday. So when I go to work on Friday, it'll still look like a bomb shelter. But then when I'm back, it will look unbelievable. I, am, I just can't wait for that. But because everywhere's dusty, look, obviously all the dust is stuck to the cobwebs and stuff, so I'm going to have to get a bit of a... I didn't really notice it before. You have a bit of a blast down, but that's, you know, long way off for that yet. And I've got to finish down here, which is a bomb site. And that's the other side of the, the field warehouse up there. So yeah, unbelievable, really happy, excited, nervous, because then I'm going to start decommissioning the decking by the end of next week, get rid of the fence panels, because the heat pump will be behind the filter house, ready to go. And we're going to try and reuse the deck in. I'm not ho very hopeful we're going to get it up. Uh, but you never know. I'm going to have a go. Safe bin in it. Because we do want to relocate it, as I said before, over in that area. But yeah, if if it comes up okay and it's not completely rotten. This corner was rotten. Well, we had all the plants because from watering the plants just rotted the deck. So yeah. Busy day, lot gone on today. Uh, well, next every day's been full on. Let's be honest, uh, there's it's been a ton of stuff to do every single day. But starting to look like we're making progress now, more progress than just thinking, demolishing stuff and then making a start on stuff. So yes, Oof. not long to go okay anyway thanks for watching i'm going because i need to film my van up with water because i'm back to cleaning windows tomorrow Oof. Bit, bit, bit of a break um rather than moving blocks here there and everywhere and uh wheelbarrows full of junk so cleaning windows for the next couple of days then i'm off monday i'm gonna see about hiring a jackhammer to get rid of my path I spoke to travis perkins earlier they have got one so I'm going to nip in there tomorrow to get that booked out for Monday. Get rid of the path just because we want it gone and I need to get my water in. So then I can start topping the pond when it's ready. Anyway, catch you later. See you soon. Bye.